Hi, I'm Joni Patree and welcome to my YouTube channel. Well, today I want to talk about something very important that everyone seems to ask me all the time and it is about earthquakes. And I have to inform you, a lot of my Patreon members have been asking me to do certain videos. And by the way, when you are part of my Patreon, you get to tell me what you want me to do my YouTube videos on. And here we go. So this has been something that they've been asking for a while. And yes, I have some very, very important information concerning earthquakes this summer. So listen up and I'm going to give you exact times because this is so important to be prepared for. And those of you that have been following me for a long time know that I used to have a Japanese website where I would do predictions for Japan. I did this for uh, about seven years monthly and March 11th, I gave the prediction that in the month of March, around the time of that horrible earthquake in 2011, I warned everyone to be careful of a massive earthquake. And yes, I did get a lot of notes of appreciation from that when I made that prediction because they, a lot of people canceled their wedding plans and moved them to different months. So that's why I'm doing this today. I want you to be able to be prepared, plan your vacations accordingly. So here we go. And before I go, I want you to know you can sign up for my free newsletter, which you will be getting all of my predictions such as this written down, delivered to your email, absolutely free. Go to galacticcenter.org to sign up for my free newsletter, sign up for my Patreon page, as well as soon to come out, I am working on a galactic planner. If you want your chart, personal predictions delivered to your calendar every day, go sign up for the galactic planner. And here is the website that you can sign up for a free month. It's going to come out pretty soon. And if you go there, sign up, you'll get a free month. That is going to be galacticplanner.com. All right. So let's get going. I've got important information. Now, you know, as an astrologer, I work with charts. I work with data. This is not just a feeling I'm getting out of the blue. Although I must say, I do get some very psychic impulses, but Psychic impulses don't tell you when. Astrology gives you timing and it is precise timing. It is very mathematical. For those of you that don't know astrology, it is very scientific. So I'm going to show you the charts and my reasoning for this prediction that I'm going to give, California is going to have some serious earthquakes. Yes, they're coming up. I believe it's really, it could happen June, July, August, but I'm predicting July for the big one. And San Francisco, San Francisco area. Yes, I did get some psychic impulses said, look, at cities that begin with San. So I've been looking at San Antonio, San Diego, there's San Jose, there's all these sands. But I think San Francisco is the place for the earthquake around this area. Let me show you the dates and times and why I've come up with this date. I think it's so interesting for people to understand and see astrology really, really working. Now, remember I do sidereal Vedic astrology, but essentially the transits and the aspects are the same, whether you're doing Vedic or Western, but just remember the signs are different when you look at the Vedic or the Western. Regardless, here are the Vedic charts that I'm getting my information for. Let's put up 
the chart for the San Francisco earthquake that happened in 1906. Putting this chart up, you can see exactly why this earthquake hit at this time. It is phenomenal. If you look at this chart, you will notice this is the chart for where the planets were at the time of this earthquake. And this earthquake happened, it was April 18th, 1906. Putting up this chart, you're going to see that in the sky on this day, Neptune sat at 15 degrees of Gemini and Uranus sat at 15 degrees of Sagittarius. They are exactly in an opposition. This is where they were on this day in the heavens. But if you look at where Mercury transited to on that day, you're going to see that it is at the exact square position from where Uranus and Neptune opposed, Mercury went right to the midpoint of that square. So it essentially formed what we call in astrology, a T-square. That T-square set it off. Now let me show you a chart that I pulled up for the city of San Francisco. I Googled and I found a city for when the San Francisco, the city was founded. And let's put this chart right below it. And you can see this was for June 27th, 1776. Now I want to find, there has to be, if this is the correct chart, something that's 15 degrees that would set off that Uranus-Neptune opposition and Mercury was the trigger because Mercury was the faster moving planet. Because probably throughout that whole year, Uranus and Neptune were opposed one another. They moved very slow. So for months on end, you, we had this opposition for most of that year. But it was when Mercury came to that trigger point of 15 degrees that triggered that opposition of Uranus and Neptune. Now, when I look at the chart, the founding of the city, notice where the sun is, 15 degrees of Gemini, which tells me that on the day of the earthquake, Neptune was exactly on the sun. On the sun, which is the defining point for the city of San Francisco. So that's well and good. That, that's where I'm seeing the earthquake scenario. Now let me tell you something I discovered with my work. Neptune deals with earthquakes. So does Uranus. And I found when they were in exact opposition, this was a devastating earthquake, destroyed San Francisco. And after the earthquake, they say that the opening up of all the gas lines from the earthquake set the city on fire and it was completely destroyed. All right, so one thing I can say in today's age, a place like San Francisco, where they are prone to earthquakes, they build their buildings in accordance to this. So it's not like as devastating as when something like this happens in a third world country where they don't build their buildings to the standards for earthquakes. So yes, this is going to be a serious earthquake, but it won't have the devastation that like a place like Haiti would have or places where they don't have the standards to build their structures. So yes, this is still going to be very destructive. Earthquakes are, but I have no reason to believe that it's the California is going to fall off into the ocean. It is not, but you know, something else that I, I considered was, you know, when I said this is relative to a city, something to do with sand, that came to me psychically. And you know, this is the San Andreas fault that is going to be in effect. So, but let me show you what I see happening 
that is very similar to the chart of the earthquake of 1906 for, for San Francisco. Let me put up a third chart. Now this chart, I want you to notice some degrees and some points that are almost exact. And this is the true study of astrology where somebody does the research of what was going on astrologically. Remember, we're looking at charts. We are not just pulling things out of thin air. This is for the timing. And so when I pull up the chart for around the date, sometimes these days happen around, but right around, if not exactly on the day of July 12th. Let's look at where the planets will be in the sky on July 12th. Very important. Okay, let me point out what I'm seeing in this chart. Notice where Mars is. Zero degrees of Taurus. The minute Mars comes to Taurus, it's going to be in the same position that it was in 1906. Notice Mars was at zero degrees of Taurus. Now this is not unusual. This happens every two years that Mars goes through the whole zodiac and it's going to hit the zero degree Taurus. But I want to point out something I've been pointing out all of May and June. There is a very detrimental fixed star between zero to three degrees of Taurus. It is called a goal. And that is the, well, it's the worst fixed star. It, they say it deals with demons. It's nasty. Things happen that are difficult, <laughs> very difficult at this time. And so Jupiter throughout May is crossing over this degree, revving everything up. But going back to this chart, notice that Mars on July 12th will be zero degrees of Taurus and it is approaching Uranus, which is a planet of sudden unexpected events. Ruling what? What is a sudden unexpected event that comes out of nowhere? Earthquakes. So Mars is aligning with Uranus during this time. So really this whole week, when Mars comes together with Uranus, boom, something will happen. Something triggered, huge, like an earthquake. Now, Uranus is around two degrees. That is two degrees, almost three degrees is exactly a goal. So Uranus, considering earthquakes, is there with Mars. Mars within July 12th through the 16th will be exactly with Uranus. But this is where Mars was during the earthquake in San Francisco in 1906. Notice where Jupiter is. Both Jupiter align. Jupiter is going to be around 16 degrees of Taurus and in 1906, it was 14 degrees Taurus within a three degree range is what I give it. Now, another planet to pay attention to, Saturn. Notice where Saturn was in 1906. And notice where Saturn is on July 12th, both in Aquarius. It was during the San Francisco earthquake, Saturn was 18, almost 19 degrees of Aquarius. And Saturn is at 25 degrees of Aquarius. So we have the Jupiter and Saturn in the same positions as the 1906 earthquake. But that, if that isn't enough, it's not. I have something that triggers the chart of San Francisco. And that 15 degree mark is the mark that I'm looking for. And where do I see a planet at 15 degrees? Notice Rahu and Ketu for July 12th. 
15, Rahu sits at 15 degrees of Pisces, and Ketu sits at 15 degrees of Virgo. Remember in the San Francisco chart, the sun was, or the sun is in that chart, 15 degrees of Gemini. And that tells me that the sun for this personal chart for this city of San Francisco sits at the midpoint exactly between Rahu and K2, essentially setting off the T-square, just like when the earthquake happened, we had planets setting off a T-square with where the sun is, yes, Uranus, during the 1906 earthquake was right there, but this time we have Rahu and K2 in a square to the sun, exactly. But we have the lineup of Jupiter being in the same placement, Saturn being in the same placement. Not only that, Mars. Mars aligns with Uranus in Taurus. And yes, we didn't have the Uranus alignment exactly for the San Francisco earthquake. But let me just tell you, Mars and Uranus rule sudden, unexpected, huge events of a violent nature. Now, even if there's not earthquakes, which I'm su suspecting there are, there will be a lot of violence breaking out and crazy things happening unexpectedly. So I did this video to help you make your plans accordingly. Do not be going to places where you're in trouble or there could be a possibility. Remember what I always say, astrology should be used as a forecast, like a weather forecast, right? You wouldn't go out without an umbrella if the forecast said it's going to rain. So use this information, make your trips to a different area of the world during this month. All right. So that's all I want to say. And hopefully, hopefully I'm completely wrong, but surmising from my research and my astrological study, this is what I predict. So I want everyone to pay attention and I'm putting this video out early enough for you to change any plans or to make different plans to a different vacation spot if that's what you are planning to do. So I think I got my point across. Earthquakes are going to be happening this summer. Look out when Mars comes together with Uranus, especially being in the positions in the Zodiac on the fixed star Agul. And please be wary of your intuition. If something's telling you not to go, listen. We all have that sixth sense that can guide us and use it. It's, it should be used as well as any sense that you have. Your hearing, your sight, use your sixth sense. But this is telling me the astrology where and when. Okay, so take heed of this. And remember, if you would like more information on me, a reading or sign up for my newsletter or Patreon, go to my website, which is galacticcenter.org. And if you want to study and learn Vedic astrology, I have an online university. Go to universityofvedicastrology.com. And we're starting a whole new semester this summer. So get ready if this has always been something you want to learn. And one more note I want to make. I wrote this book many years ago. It's called Secrets of Prediction. And yes, I have prediction on how I predicted earthquakes, the, Jap the Japan earthquake, the San Francisco earthquake. This is about world prediction. And you can get this book on Amazon or go to my website, galacticcenter.org, and there it will take you to order that book. So with that, I'll close. Thank you for listening.